British royals unite on palace balcony as Kate Middleton attends first public event since cancer diagnosis Britain welcomes King Charles III to the country with birthday celebrations complete with a military parade and the Princess of Wales making her first public appearance since she was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. London Britain welcomed King Charles III to the country on Saturday with birthday celebrations complete with a military parade and the Princess of Wales making her first public appearance since she was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. The annual event was also a show of stability for the monarchy after a difficult few months in which both the King and Kate Middleton, wife of heir to the throne Prince William, have been away for cancer treatment. In a symbolic show of unity, Prince Charles, Camilla, Prince William, Kate Middleton and their children joined other members of the royal family on the balcony of Buckingham Palace at the end of the King's birthday parade. Family members waved to the gathered crowds and watched the military plane fly over, concluding the King's official birthday celebrations. In March, she announced she was undergoing chemotherapy for an unspecified type of cancer. It was Kate's first public appearance since December. I am progressing well, but as anyone undergoing chemotherapy knows, there are good days and bad days, Kate said in a statement on Friday, adding that she still has several months of treatment to go. Kate said she is not out of the woods yet, and sources stressed that Saturday's engagement does not mark a full return to public life. Every June, Huge crowds gather for the birthday parade, also known as Trooping the Color. The parade starts with a procession of horses, musicians, and hundreds of soldiers in ceremonial dress from Buckingham Palace. The 42 year old princess traveled from the palace with her children George, 10, Charlotte, 9, and Louis, 6, in a horse drawn carriage down a boulevard known as the Mall. Onlookers cheered when they caught sight of Kate in a white dress by designer Jenny Packham and a wide-brimmed hat by Philip Treacy. She watched the ceremony with her children from a window in a building overlooking Horse Guards Parade, the parade ground in central London. Louis yawned loudly at one point, but for most of the time he watched the ceremony closely, dancing to military music. Prince William, dressed in military uniform, rode on horseback to the ceremony, where troops paraded before the king bearing their regimental colors. Or colors. The precise marching and military music harkened back to a time when the regimental colors were a key rallying point in the fog of war. Prince Charles, who is also undergoing treatment for an unknown cancer, traveled with Camilla in a carriage rather than a horse, as he did last year. The king inspected the troops from a podium on the parade ground, saluting as an elite infantry regiment marched by. Five regiments take turns parading in their colors, and this year it was the turn of the Irish Guards Company, of which Kate is an honorary colonel. Dressed in scarlet tunics and bearskin hats, the unit arrived on the parade ground led by their mascot, Seamus the Irish Wolfhound. Charles, 75 announced in February that he had cancer but recently returned to royal duties. Last week he took part in ceremonies marking the 80th anniversary of D-Day, the June 6, 1944, invasion of Nazi-occupied Europe. Following one of the many peculiarities of British royal tradition, Saturday is not the actual king's birthday, but rather November. Like his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Charles' official birthday is the second Saturday in June. The date was chosen because the weather was generally fine in London on Saturday, which turned into a blustery, rainy day, albeit with early morning sunshine. The rain held off for most of the ceremony, but it began to fall as the assembled military escorted the King's carriage past the drenched but enthusiastic crowd and back to Buckingham Palace. Blue skies briefly returned as the family stepped out onto the balcony to watch the Royal Air Force's Red Arrows aerobatic team fly over them, sending up clouds of red, white and blue steam. Thousands of royal fans, wearing raincoats and carrying umbrellas, cheered, 
while some anti-monarchy protesters chanted not my king. Viewer Joseph Afron 60, said he was happy to see the Duchess back and got a big wave as she passed by. It was amazing when I heard it on the news yesterday, he said. I thought, thank God, they brought Kate back, because she's such a hard worker. Spectators who braved the unsettled weather were treated to a splendid and precise performance involving one, 400 soldiers, a 250-man military band and more than 200 horses. The horses included Trojan, Tennyson, and Vanquish, three of the five military horses that crashed into a vehicle while traveling through central London in April, causing chaos during the morning rush hour. The army said the other two horses are recovering well and are expected to return to duty.